everyone, it's James from The Fit RV coming at you today with a video that's a little bit different and maybe not entirely RV related. Now if you've seen some of our earlier videos, you probably saw that I had a pretty awesome shop to work from. Well, we've moved to a different part of Utah and for the last several months I've been missing it. I haven't really had my shop. What I've had has been this space which is kind of this uh, unused garage with giant piles of crap in it. So this is not a bad space. It's 36 by 25. It's uh, temperate. It's dry. It's, uh, you know, it's got a man door. I don't know if you can see it way over there. A couple garage doors. And it's fairly comfortable. But what it isn't is a shop. And that's what we're going to change starting today. So I've finally been greenlighted, thank you very much Steph, to uh, start converting this space into my very next and completely awesome shop. So this video and the next few that go with it are going to sort of document that process and hopefully you find that interesting. Now the first thing I want to do is to put down a floor and I have always wanted a wood floor in my shop. It just feels better underfoot and I've just always wanted one. And I've actually already got two pallets of the wood flooring in here somewhere. So the very first thing I'm going to have to do is clean all this junk out of here so I can get to the floor. So where am I going to put all this stuff? I got a giant shipping container. <laughs> I actually kind of like the way these look. They're inexpensive to rent. So I think I'm just going to keep one in the driveway when I'm done just because I like it. Uh, no, you're not. No. Oh. So the next step is I've got to move everything from there into here but I do have a couple challenges. Now my first challenge are these guys. We have what you might call a bit of a scorpion problem here. So I'm going to have to be very careful picking stuff up, reaching into boxes, that kind of thing. I do have a pair of gloves that I could put on to use. They're just in a box labeled shop crap. So that's not really very helpful. And my second challenge is that I'm going to need some of these tools in order to install the flooring, electrical, whatever. And that's great. I've kind of got a mental list, so I'm going to need to leave those out. Trouble is, is that they are also in a box labeled shop crap. So this is going to go slower than I had really hoped it would, but you got to start somewhere. So let's get to it. And that's going to do it for today. We, uh, we got most everything cleared out. There's a few things left in here. Let me show you. A couple tools that I'm going to need. Some back in the corner over there. There's some uh, leftover gym equipment that we got because we, uh, we got some new gym equipment for our home gym. So that's here. I'll be, uh, be Craigslisting that or something like that. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Next time I will be laying down the floor. There's the flooring over there. Tell you all about that next time. See you later.